Greetings Commanders. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to part 3 of my beginner exploration series. In this video, I will tell you which materials you need for a long exploration trip, and how to find them. I will also show you another website, which I use, that is very useful for locating raw materials and other things in the game. If you haven't already, I would suggest that you check out parts 1 and 2 of this beginner exploration series, with my Cobra Mark III and Dolphin builds. Okay then, let's go through the essential materials. On the synthesis tab, we will start with FSD injection, you shouldn't need to use this too often, but it does come in handy when you are trying to reach a system that is just beyond reach, or even when you haven't got quite enough fuel to make a jump. Basic synthesis should be all you need, however you may find yourself in a rare situation where standard or even premium is necessary. Next is limpets, limpets come in very handy for repairing your hull, if you happen to have sustained some damage from a rough landing or two. I would recommend you always set off with a few limpets on board. I have never needed to refill my auto field maintenance unit, and I have been all the way to Beagle Point and back, however, you never know what might happen so I would carry at least enough materials for one refill. I would not waste materials on standard or premium here. The materials for heatsinks are the only ones on my list that you cannot source in deep space, so be sure to get plenty of these from manufactured material traders before you leave. 5 to 10 refills should be enough to last you a long time. I would not waste materials on standard or premium here. Every now and then you will need to replenish your SRV ammo, but not too often, because you will only be shooting rocks while material gathering. I would not waste materials on standard or premium here. From time to time your SRV will need to be repaired from all the bumps and crashes you will receive. We are all guilty of flipping our SRV over. I would not waste materials on standard or premium here either. The last thing on our synthesis list is SRV refuel, from time to time you will need to refuel your SRV, depending on how much it is used. I would not waste materials on standard or premium here, unless you can spare them. The easiest way to get these materials is to trade other materials you have. There are three traders, raw, manufactured and encoded, this is how you find them using the galaxy map. Raw traders will show as orange. Manufactured traders will show as dark blue. You will need manufactured traders to get the heatsink materials. And encoded traders will show as purple. What we will be using for most of our materials is the raw material trader. As it happens, I'm already in Raksaka, which has a raw trader. Let me demonstrate how we use them to trade materials. Let's say we want more vanadium, to equal the same amount of germanium we have, this would then give us 3 more injections. Click on the material you want, in this case vanadium. Then look and see which material, that is a higher grade than vanadium that you wish to trade. Here I have chosen polonium, for every 2 pieces of polonium, we can receive 3 pieces of vanadium. As you can see, we have now gained 3 more pieces of vanadium. And we have now gone from 12 to 15 injections available. This principle of trading is the same for all traders and their materials. This website, EDDB is another great tool for explorers and among other things, it's great at finding materials. Today we are going to focus on the bodies option. Click the material finder search bar and scroll down until you see the material you want to find. As nickel is a common used material we need, I will give an example on how we can find that. Let's click on nickel. 
then in the reference system search bar, type in where you currently are, right now we are in Raksaka. Then click Raksaka to lock it in. Then click the Find Bodies tab. We now have a list of bodies that contain nickel, showing how much percentage of nickel is on each body, the distance from the main star to the body and its system, and the distance in light years to the system from our reference system. We can also help our search further by putting the bodies with the highest quantity of nickel to the top of the list by clicking here. Now we have a new list showing that at the top, the La Lanate system has a planetary body with 32.6% nickel at body C1. The higher the percentage means, the easier it will be to find nickel once we land there. By clicking on the body, this will give a detailed explanation of the planet, including what other materials you can find there, and the planet's gravity, among other things. Now let's set a course and head out there to the La Lanate system. Another material I want to touch on briefly is fuel. Remember, the only stars you can scoop fuel from are on the screen now. Fuel scooping. The best way to remember this is to remember this phrase. KGB foam. When landing, ideally you want to be on the light side of the planet, and also pick an area where the terrain is pretty flat. Let's get on board the Scarab SRV. Using the Scarab scanner, it only took a few moments to find a resource. Now shoot the rock to expose its contents. We have found nickel along with other materials that will come in handy too. Now you know what materials to pack before you leave, and how to find more whilst out in deep space. For your first long trip, I would suggest you go and see the heart of our galaxy, a supermassive black hole called Sagittarius A star. And when you get back you may have collected enough exploration data to upgrade to the ASP Explorer. The galaxy is yours commanders.